When Beauty saw the beast, she was horrified by his looks. But as she came to know him, it was his spirit, not his ugly appearance, that she learned to care for. In the end, when Beauty looked at the beast, it was the honesty of his soul, not the ugliness of his appearance, that she saw. I loved that story when I was a child. Why, it's just a fairy tale. Sometimes fairy tales come true, little friend. That's no fairy tale. That's the general alarm. Let's get going. It's a squadron of robot ships. They're Skeletor spider droids. You'd better cover the defense perimeter outpost. There's no telling where Skeletor might strike next. Right. Come on, Argo. Where are they coming from? I should have known. By the power of Grey Skull. Interrupts a story. He Man, above you! Thanks, Cyclone. I see them. Your energy web is not going to get me. Going once. Going twice. Gone! These robots just never learn, do they? And it's a good thing, too. Concentrate your fire on Sector 4. Sector 4! That's funny. The sensors are picking up an alien near here. But the only aliens around here are those robot ships. Not anymore! Well, we seem to have company. Since the guards are either distracted or asleep, thanks to my magic, we thought we'd drop by. Yeah, we're going to have a party. Enough talk! Freeze them! Run, Orko! Get them in the connector! The freeze rays will keep them asleep! <laughs> if King Randor wants them back unfrozen, he'll have to make a deal with me. <laughs> Only I know where they're going. Now back to Snake Mountain. We must give King Randor our terms for their safe return. <laughs> Awfully nice of Skeletor to contribute building material for the new hospital. Now what? Head on back to the palace in case there's more trouble. As for me, well, I have a little unfinished business with Skeletor. The ship is gone. I'd better check on Tila and Orko. <laughs> from Tila and Orko, they were covering this station alone. Then we lost contact with them. By the time we got here, they were gone. We have no idea where. I think I have an idea. Looks like the palace of the Star Kings. And it's fe feast day. 
Marco, wait! You don't know what's in that food. Ugh, yeah, don't be such a worrywart, baby. Besides, I'm starved. So am I. There's no telling how long we were in those capsules. Uh-oh. I think this stuff is making me see things. I am no illusion. I am known through no fault of my own as the monster of Morogor. Uh, well, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, well uh, Mr. Monster, uh, I mean, or uh, is it Mr. Morgor or, or Sir, Sir Morgor? I mean, I mean, we really didn't mean to bother your dinner here, but uh, we, we were very hungry. Please, eat your fill. You will not be harmed. For the moment, you are my guests. Well, that's certainly good to know. Thanks. But you must stay in this room until, until I hear from, from my master, Skeletor. This guy works for Skeletor? I don't believe it. It's he, man! I've been expecting him! He must not find out where Tila is. The boulders. Excellent, Whiplash. Go to it! Uh-oh, we've got company, Battle Cat. I think it's time for you to take a vacation. I'd... I'd better get out of here. That fool I can't depend on anyone! No matter. E-Man's power can do nothing to stop us. So long as we have Tila and Orko, switch on my image. That should send him away. Leave my kingdom, He-Man. First, return my friends, or I'll tear Snake Mountain apart looking for them. Your friends are safe and well, but not here. They will be returned when Eternia bows to me as its new king. <laughs> That'll be a long time coming. But. Come it will! Now be gone, He-Man, or your friends will suffer the consequences! I can't risk leaving Tila and Orko in Skeletor's control, but I'll have to find another way. <laughs> You've done it, Skeletor. He's leaving? For the moment. But what if he finds out where his friends are? He won't. We've got to get to the Sorceress. She's the only one who can help me find Tila and Orko. <laughs> It is good to see you, Adam. But you have come for more than conversation. Well, then you already know that Tila and Orko are missing. Yes. When I felt the dark energies of your concern for them. I thought you might be able to discover where they're being held. Perhaps. Perhaps. I have found Tila. And she is in great danger. Where? I'll leave immediately. Patience, Adam. The way will be difficult, even for He-Man. They are being held by the monster of Morgor, a powerful creature who bears an even more powerful curse. Curse? Oh, no! His kingdom has powerful defenses, but there is another way to enter his stronghold, an extremely dangerous way. Beneath the castle, a deep, Dark maze leads to the inner chambers. Mm, a curse and a maze too. I'll find it. This will guide you. It contains a lock of Tila's hair, which I have combined with other elements. As you move in her direction, it will glow more brightly. Thank you, sorceress. May the spirits go with you. Look, He-Man! He's heading in the direction of Morogor. How did he discover where they are? I don't know. Contact the monster. What is it you wish, Master Skeletor? Your guests. How are they? Well enough. You're about to receive a visit from He-Man. I expect you to take all precautions. Our defenses are secure. Perhaps, perhaps not. But remember this. If he sets one foot inside your castle, 
I want your guests placed in deep sleep until I can deal with them. I am weary of violence, Master Skeletor. These prisoners have harmed no one. You will do as I say, or the curse that now scars you will scar all your people. As you command, Master Skeletor. We can no longer be trusted. Whiplash, repair the Collector. We leave for Moragor. If the monster can't handle the job, I'll have to do it myself. to do something, Orko. Right, but there's no immediate rush. <laughs> Maybe there is. Sir Morgor, you can't keep us confined in this room forever. I have no intention of doing so. E easy for him to say. Then you'll release us? <sighs> it's not as simple as that. Look. This was my kingdom before we were enslaved by Skeletor. And this is my kingdom today. I do not have the courage to show you a picture of how I looked before I too came under the spell of Skeletor and the witch, Evil Lynn. <laughs> What is it? I think it's He-Man. He-Man? Is the Morobot ready? Yes. Energize it. I am sorry. I have no choice. Don't worry, Battle Cat. The bigger they come, the harder they fall. I hope. I've got an idea. Let's see how coordinated this thing is. One more time and we'll trick him. Now! ask you to accompany me to another chamber. We are under attack by He-Man. I knew he'd get through. Quickly, there's no time for delay. This maze is tough. Turn to the right, cat. It's a gigantic honeycomb. They thought we were after their honey. They're gonna freeze us again! Is that what you're going to do? I have no choice. Of course you have a choice! You can fight! Your kingdom is strong enough to resist Skeletor! How? My people run in fear when they see my face. You blame too much on your appearance. Your people run because they do not have a leader. Show some strength and character! and your people will follow you anywhere, no matter how you look. Take us to your master, immediately. Please, think of what you're doing. You don't have to do this. If I disobey Skeletor, Evil Lynn will place a terrible curse of ugliness, like mine, upon all my people. I can't allow that to happen. What does ugly mean? Doing something bad is far more ugly than what a person looks like. Your men inform me that He-Man has arrived. Yes, he has already destroyed the Morobot. Your instructions were to place these prisoners in free sleep if He-Man entered your castle. He will not reach the castle. My people saw him enter the endless maze beneath the mountainside. No one has ever found their way through. Don't be so sure about He-Man. Can the maze be viewed from here? Yes, from the monitors but only the part which is directly beneath us. 
He has reached the compressor room. No one has ever come so far. This far and no further. He-Man must be stopped. Do it. No, Skeletor. This time you asked too much. Switch on the compressor, Beast Man. I'll deal with you later. <laughs> Your fuel's run out and you've got nowhere to go. They went back to Snake Mountain the hard way. In the cryonic freeze capsules. <laughs> now they can find out what it feels like to have icicles for fingernails. I am sorry I could not do more to help you. But you tried. That was the first step. The next is to help your people. Yes, because of you. I understand. I can now try to be the leader I should be. If only I didn't have to show them this, this horrible face. I don't think you're ugly. When you fought to save He-Man, your courage showed how beautiful you really are. Truly be. You brought me back to my true self. No, Prince Moragor. You brought yourself back when you decided to fight back. From that moment on, Skeletor's power over you has been draining away. Then come, all of you. Come and be the guests of my kingdom for the rest of the day to show our gratitude. Come, come. Hey, the storyteller. You were telling a story earlier about Beauty and the Beast, and I just wanted to say that I take back what I said about it all just being a fairy tale. But, my little friend, it was a fairy tale. Oh, no, really. Some fairy tales do come true. Very well, then, friend. Perhaps you can tell me your story. This story. All right. Well, once upon a time, there was this prince, and he was a good prince with a good heart. One day, Skeletor came to the kingdom. Well, Orko, did you learn a lesson? I sure did, that sometimes fairy tales can come true. My lesson was more difficult. With Tila's help, I learned to look past my ugliness, because the truth is that no matter how you look, you're only as ugly or as beautiful as the way you act. A hard lesson for sure, but you learned it well. 